Hello everyone, my name is Camila Caballero and I'm here to tell you why you should stop searching for happiness. So first of all, we're going to play a little game called fill in the gap. I want you to finish this sentence for me. For example, I could say, I will be happy when I get into my dream university. Now it is your turn. Think about something that will make you happy. I asked this question to a variety of people and this were some of the most common answers. Now today, I came here to tell you why none of these things, and probably none of the things you thought about, will make you happy. Let me illustrate this to you. Meet Johnny and meet his dream car. Johnny has always wanted to have this car. And if he was playing the game with us, his phrase would have been, I will be happy when I get my dream car. So Johnny starts working very hard and saving all of his money so that he can finally buy his car. And one day he does. And look at him, now he's happy. He posts pictures of his car on social media. He invites his friends to take a ride in his car. And every time he gets on his car, he can smell the new car smell, which is so delicious. But as the days go by, the new car smell will fade away. And so will Johnny's excitement. And this is something that doesn't happen only with objects. It happens also with people. So you may be thinking, what about my family or my friends? They make me happy. But what happens when one of them betrays you? Or when one of them passes away? Of course, you may be sad for a while but you still need to be feeling good with yourself and with your life. Because if you depend on the people around you to make you happy, then will you lose your, la your happiness forever if you lose these people? So let's continue with Johnny's example. Let's say Johnny got used to his car and now he wants something else, as people usually do. Johnny now wants a girlfriend. And so Johnny is miserable. And he thinks that if he finds himself a girlfriend, he will be happy. But what Johnny doesn't understand is that if he is miserable and single and finds himself a girlfriend, then he will just be miserable and taken. But Johnny doesn't know this. So Johnny finds himself a girlfriend and he's happy again. He feels butterflies in his stomach every time he sees her and he talks about her to all of his friends. But then, just like with the car, that initial excitement will fade away. And so sadly, this relationship will come to an end. And so I'm not this cruel dictator that is telling you that you shouldn't have a partner or a car. You can have whatever you want to have. You should work for whatever you want to have. The problem is when you make these things the source of your happiness. Because these things come from the external world. And happiness is not found in the external world. And this is the reason why you should stop searching for happiness. Because happiness is found within. And so you may be thinking, okay, I get it. I need to find happiness in myself. But how do I do that? Today, I brought you three tips. Let's go through them. The first one is to direct your focus. So we're gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna put a picture with many objects of different colors. And I want you to try to remember as many red objects. And I will give you five seconds for it. Ready? Go. Okay. Now I want you to close your eyes and without peeking, I want you to try and remember as many purple objects from the picture. Okay, so as you may have noticed, it was much more harder to remember the purple objects than the red objects because you were completely focused on the red ones and that is the power of the mind. If you focus on what is negative, you will see what is negative. And if you focus on what is positive, 
you will see what is positive. Because as an old friend of mine once said, nothing, there is nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes it so. And so this leads us to my second tip. Practice gratitude. Gratitude has many benefits. These are only some, some of them. And they all basically translate that happiness can be a, achieved with gratitude. Gratitude releases dopamine and serotonin, which are literal, literally called the happiness hormones. Gratitude reduces stress, improves sleep quality, and increases energy levels. So it basically makes you feel better. Gratitude also helps deal with anxiety, depression, and grief. So it basically eliminates these emotions that make you feel worse. A neuroscientist named Alex Korb found out that your mind cannot focus on negative and positive thoughts at the same time. This means that when you are grateful, you can feel better and improve those neg negative thoughts that you are having. So I invite you to think about all the things you are grateful for the next time that you're feeling miserable, because I promise you that you will feel better. Because it is not happiness that brings us gratitude, it is gratitude that brings us happiness. And so finally, I came come here with my third and last tip. Stay present. If you focus too much on the past, you're thinking of two things. Either you're thinking about all of your regrets, all the things that you did that you shouldn't have done, or the things that you wish you had done that you didn't do. Or B, you're thinking about how life was so much easier and better and how you were happier before. And so, of course, you must think about the past to learn for your, from your mistakes, but you should not dwell on it. Now, the problem when you start thinking about the future is that you start thinking about all this huge to-do list of things that you have to do and all the what ifs, what if I fail? What if I mess up? And of course, you must think about the future to plan it, but you shouldn't overthink it. And as an example, I can give to you this TED Talk. I planned it, I did the slides and the script and every single stick in Johnny's body. But today I tried my best to stay in the present moment. And this allowed me to avoid feeling nervous and anxious. And now I can stand here today in front of all of you and I enjoyed every single minute of it. And so of course, by not making this TED Talk the, source, the, the outcome of this TED Talk the source of my happiness, I was able to share my knowledge with you. Nevertheless, even though I didn't make this, the, the outcome of this TED Talk the source of my happiness, I do hope that you learned something from it and that you enjoyed it. Thank you for, for coming to my talk.